it's Modesty. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my initiation into spring. This is my very first spring look of the season or year and my first spring video all together. So I'm super pumped for this video. I sat down, I was like, I wanna do a spring look. And to be totally honest with you guys, um, there was this look that I did last summer that so many people requested and I just didn't do it because it was turning into fall. And also I ran out of lashes. But anyway, so I had started to film that look. I was like, wait, what am I doing? No, I wanna do a bright pink, shimmery spring look. So I wiped it all off and I started over and I came up with this. So I am actually so happy with how it turned out. I love the lashes. I love the highlight. I don't love the lipstick on my teeth. I love the lip color, everything about this look. So I really do hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy this video, give it a big ol' thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know down below what spring videos you would like to see so that I can start writing a list and then just knocking out those videos one by one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to see how to get this bright, pink, bold spring makeup look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, okay, so we are starting with Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. I did already prime my eyes and apply tape. I just figured that wasn't really necessary to show. But I'm taking Peach Smoothie on a Sigma E40 blending brush. I love this brush, you guys. This has been my ride or die crease brush for about three years now. Um, it's just, it's a perfect size for my eyes because I do have large eyes and it just makes everything not look too pigmented and it's perfect for those blending colors. Now I'm taking Cupcake from Makeup Geek also, and I'm taking this on a Sigma E25, and I'm just going to be blending this into the outer V of the eye, and I'm going to be diffusing it inwards. So the majority of the pigmentation, I'm starting out here, and then as I work my way in, product will be leaving and it will be diffusing into the center of my lid. Now I'm going to be going in with Simply Marlena. This is my favorite pink to use during the springtime. It's just so... Really? And I'm taking this on the exact same brush because why not? These are all pink shades, so you know what? It doesn't matter to me. And I'm going to be doing the exact same motions with this. The majority of the pigmentation will be on the outer V, and as the product leaves my brush, I'll be bringing it inwards so that it diffuses out. And as you can see, I'm getting the gradient from darker to lighter. And now I'm taking Wisteria, which is a super pretty purple. I felt like this tone of purple would really complement this Simply Marlena because they're both that really vibrant look, you know what I mean? So I'm taking this on a short shader brush or just a basic eyeshadow brush and this is from Sigma. I don't remember the exact name of this brush but essentially any eyeshadow you know, shader brush would work because they're really nice for packing on color. This is just the one that I had laying around in my collection so I decided to grab this one. Now I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer. This is just my favorite all over the lid shimmery shade. And it's from Makeup Geek. Do I even need to say that? <laughs> Anyways, I'm taking this on a MAC 242. Guys, I know it's MAC, and I know this brush is like $25, but this is like the one brush I would say it is worth the money. I've been trying to find a dupe for this for so long because I did not want to break down and buy it. But I couldn't find one, and I broke down and bought it, and I'm so happy I did. This is like the best $25 that I've ever spent on a makeup product, and it's just absolutely amazing. It makes... You know, eyeshadow, and it changes my eyeshadow uh, game when it comes to my lid, and I just love it to death. I don't have to tug on my eyes much because it just lays down so much product so evenly, and you can get a really precise line um, in the crease. Now I'm going to be touching up that Simply Marlena and the Wisteria. First, I'm touching the Simply Marlena, and I'm focusing the majority of the pigmentation this time on the... Uh, I'd say center of the lid, not all the way in the center, but you, you can see right there, and that's why I'm showing you guys. And then I'm touching up the Wisteria with that, you know, flat shader brush, and I'm going to be just packing the color on and doing slight sweeping motions just so the colors all combine together, and you have a really nice gradient. And now I'm going to be touching up the Simply, or the uh, Shimmer Shimmer one more time because it is a shimmery shade with a little bit of... Um, uh, glitter in it, you can tend to lose a lot of pigmentation when you blend back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I had to touch that up. And now I'm removing the tape so we can review, reveal our nice sharp line that we've created, which is a perfect base for your winged eyeliner. Um, you don't have to do a wing. I chose to do a wing. I have all this lid space, so why not just fill it with things? You know what I mean? Why not? And I'm using the Maybelline, uh, the Maybelline Gel Studio 
This is my favorite gel liner ever. It's so cheap from the drugstore and it is so black. And then I went with the Wispy number no. 3 from Kiss for lashes. And now moving on to the skin, I'm using my Men's Nivea Post Shave Balm. This is the sensitive formula because the non-sensitive has you smell like a straight up man all day. <laughs> And for foundation, I went with my Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is essentially a dupe for the uh, Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. This is also a foundation and concealer, and it's from the drugstore. And they, at least on me, they wear the same, they feel the same, they look the same. Just the difference between the Milani one and the Clinique one is the Milani one is a little bit more yellow based. I have not found a more um, pink based one. So, I mean, maybe you'll find one, but if you have a yellow-based skin like I do, this is a perfect foundation for you. It looks a lot more yellow on camera, by the way. It is not that yellow in person, trust me. <laughs> and for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I was just feeling the drugstore today, you know? Just feeling it. <laughs> and I'm just putting this under my eyes in a triangle shape, and then I'm going to be balancing out that highlight by putting it on my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And I'm pushing this into my skin using the Real Techniques uh, Perfect Complexion Sponge. And to set that, I'm using my MAC Pro Emphasize, and I'm mixing it with the banana shade in the Studio Contour Palette from Pro Fusion. This contour palette is $5, and I love it. I got it from Five Below for $5, <laughs> or you can get it off their website for $6. Anyway, I'm just setting that, and I prefer this banana shade over the Anastasia one, believe it or not. The Anastasia one can make me look a little bit cakey sometimes, but this one, I don't look cakey at all. So, that's why I went with this banana shade instead of the other one. And I'm going back into that contour palette to use that bottom right or bottom left, whichever direction you're looking, that little uh, kind of mid-tone brown contour shade. I'm taking it on the NARS Eda brush. I didn't want a super crazy contour, so I just did a sharp contour on the uh, cheekbones, and then I went up and I just bronzed the rest of my skin, just so that I didn't look, you know, super cray. <laughs> Anyways, I actually really enjoyed this contour palette. Um, not as many shades in here that I can wear. The bottom right two, one is too orange and one is too dark, but the shade that matches me is really, really nice. And now to bronze the rest of my skin, I'm actually taking a blush. This is a tan colored blush from City Colors, I want to say. Um, I'll have it down below. I don't remember the exact name right now, but I will put it down below. But it worked out really nicely. And I used my uh, Sonia Kashuk uh, kind of paddle brush slash powder brush. Uh, it's kind of flat, but fluffy. It makes any sense at all. But I really enjoy it for bronzing. And now I'm cleaning up my contour using my Cody Airspun Loose Finishing Powder. I did set the rest of my face with this, but I just didn't discuss it with you. And I'm taking my Lorac Contour, my contour brush from Lorac to do this because it's super precise and it's perfect for the bakeage. And I'm putting a little bit of the bake in the center of the face to lighten that up a little bit because it got a little bit dark. And now for blush, I'm using my Apricot Blush from Wet n Wild, the color icon, the a uh, newer collection or formula and I absolutely love it. It is still my favorite blush right now. And for highlight, I'm taking my Morphe M495 highlighting brush. It's a huge fan brush and I love it. And I'm taking the Physicians Formula Warm Nude Shimmer Strips. I now know for a fact it is shimmer strips and I love this highlight from the drugstore. It's about $12 at Walmart so it's a little bit pricey for the drugstore but it's really 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 nice as you guys have heard me say so many times because you can get any highlight shade that you want. And I'm dusting up all the excess powder just using whatever brush I had closest to me. And now I'm doing my lower lash line. I'm taking this flat shader brush from Sigma. I don't remember the exact number to it, but just any flat shader brush like this, or flat definer brush, excuse me, it's a flat definer brush. And I took Wisteria. And now I am taking Cupcake. I was, I was contemplating taking Simply Marlena, but when you put bright pink on the lower lash line, in some cases you can look sick. And I really wanted to avoid that, so I went with Cupcake because it's a lot more muted. It's a more muted pink, and so I thought that I could still get pink under the, on the lower lash line without looking sick. You know what I mean? So I just smoked that out using a pencil brush. And now I'm going to be doing my lower lash mascara. I am taking my Wet n Wild uh, Extended Length Purple Packaging one. I don't remember the exact name. I'll have it down below, but I really like the wand on this. It's really, really teeny tiny, so you can get all those tiny hairs 
um, or tiny eyelashes without missing any and without it getting on my lower lash line. And now I'm taking Shima Shima and I'm just putting this as a brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. And now for my brows, to be totally honest, I've been so lazy with them. All I've been doing is just filling them in with this Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Hill brow gel. Just because I just haven't felt like sculpting them out. It just sounds like so much work and brows are my least favorite part about makeup. I just, I don't have time for them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I've just been filling them in. But you know what? It's been working out nicely and a lot of people said my brows have been looking nice. So for the lips, I'm showing you some options. If you want just a peachy lip color, this is a kind of peachy, orangish uh, nude from NYX. They're in Daydream. But then I wanted to bring in some pink. So it's a combination of pink and peach, just like, you know, peach soup, peach smoothie and so blue marlena. It matches the eyes really well. So I went in with this uh, smooch proof lip stain. And by the way, it really is smooch proof from NYC. So it was like a dollar fifty. And um it was actually, it's actually really nice. I really have been enjoying these a lot when I just want you know, something that I don't have to worry about and it literally stays all day long. It's not a liquid lipstick, it's just a lip stain. So it's not gonna soup it's not gonna be super bold, but it looks nice as you can see. But now I really wanted to go bold and go home, you know what I mean? So I went with this lively hot pink lip lacquer from Ruby Kisses. I've really been enjoying these. They're like a lipstick and a lip gloss all in one. And they're pretty long wearing actually. They do see my lips after a while, so I do get to keep that color on all day. But yeah, they look so nice. And now I'm going to be setting my skin. I'm using the MAC Fix Plus just to neutralize everything and make everything look less powdery. And then I go in my skin and Navia to set everything in and lock it in. And that completes this look. I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye. <laughs>